AJ here, and today we are gonna do the uh, get to know me tag because we hit a thousand subs. We did it, we're doing it. We are at a thousand, which that's when everything turns to magic, right? I'm pretty sure that's what happens at a thousand subs. To celebrate the thousand subs, we're gonna do the get to know me tag, which you may have seen on YouTube. It's just kind of like those, you remember those question things that would sometimes be on Facebook or whatever, to kind of get help people engage if they're not sure what to say. So we're gonna go through some of those questions here. I'll show you some things like my pets and some stuff about my family. But I really do wanna thank you for those of you who are subscribed, or even if you're just watching these videos, I really, really appreciate it. I know you don't have to do it. I know you could be spending your energy elsewhere so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it means so much um, let's get into this uh, get to know me tag all right so let's start with uh, who even are am I my name is AJ Rivera I am a food blogger I guess now <laughs> and I do have a video coming out about why I became a food blogger in a, a little bit but for right now we'll just leave it at that all right where am I from so I'm actually from Chicago Illinois uh, mostly like the Northwest suburbs area a town called Mount Prospect uh, but I did live the younger years of my life in Chicago and I spent a lot of my life going into Chicago so I kind of identify as a Chicago and even though Chicagoans would probably say I'm just some yuppie from the suburbs where do I currently live uh, I actually live in Chicago right now I'm actually staying with my family um, during this COVID pandemic uh, I was living in Santa Monica uh, California, kind of by Los Angeles area before, and I've kind of just been hiding here until the world gets back to normal, um, and which is great because they have an awesome kitchen. So I've been able to make really cool cooking videos or at least aesthetically pleasing ones, if not good. <laughs> have I read any books that have changed my life? Um, yeah. I think one of the first most impactful books I ever read was The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. I, I think I pronounce it wrong every time uh, because when I was growing up, I really was interested in trying to like live an alternative way. Uh, I kind of grew up in a suburb that's kind of a conservative vibe and a lot of people were like, their goals were to like get a pretty solid job, have their 2.5 kids, their white picket fence, and that's all cool. Nothing wrong with that at all, no judgment, but I didn't want to do that. And when I read the book, The Alchemist, it was kind of my first insight into somebody else out there doesn't want kind of like to fall into the status quo and it's okay to reach for different goals and aspirations. And so for a long time, I would say that was one of the most impactful books I read. Um, I'm also reading right now a pretty good book by Mickey Kendall called Hood Feminism. That's pretty good and she's from Chicago also so that's pretty uh, awesome. But yeah, that's I've read a lot of books that have changed my life. That's one of them for sure. Uh, Four Agreements, uh, Loving What Is by Byron Katie. All of those have been pretty uh, impactful books for my life. Uh, Surrender Experiment by uh, Mickey I forget his singer by Mickey Singer. That's a good one too. I'm actually not finished with that one, but I'm, I'm listening to it right now. How long was my longest relationship? Well, I've been married for, I think it's like six or seven years, something like that. I just asked my wife the other day, she doesn't take offense to it, to uh, JD. If you watch some of these videos, you probably see her at the end. She's usually doing a taste test. Um, sometimes I wake her up to, to do a taste test, but she's usually pretty happy about it because then she doesn't have to do any of the cooking. But yeah, we've been married since 2015, 16, around there. And uh, it's pretty great. I love being married to her. Um, but yeah, that, that's probably my longest relationship and it's my current relationship. Have I ever failed at anything and what did I learn? Oh, I failed at so many things. Uh, I'm really good at failing things and failing's okay. I don't think there should be a negative association with failing things. Um, I've tried to start like dozens of businesses in my life and I failed at a lot of them. I remember one of my first businesses I tried to start was like a pie company and that blew up, that didn't work. Um, I had some fitness studios that worked um, as well. I had a marketing company that worked as well and also didn't work. So I've done a lot of different things. Some of them have failed, some of them have succeeded. Um, so yeah, I think failure is fine and I don't think we should have a negative association with failure. If we fail, you can figure out you know, what you could possibly do to improve. So one of the things I've learned, if I'm sharing a lesson about failure, is uh, to not be emotionally attached to the outcome. And I know that that's a scary thing to do. If you're like trying to be a musician or trying to be a business person or trying to be something and you fail, you feel like embarrassed. Like, ah, oh, I'm not good enough and everybody else knows I'm not good enough. But it's totally cool. Like, let, if, like if we let go of what people are thinking of us, 
and we just embrace, okay, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? Is this still my path? It's a lot more peaceful uh, way to live in my experience. So for me, it's you know, separating the emotional attachment to the outcome and just kind of taking action and saying, okay, what's the next step I have to do? And what's the next step I have to do? And realizing you're not gonna die. Like you're not gonna, uh, there's this like limbic feeling, at least I had in the past where when I failed at something, I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna die. You know, I'm gonna run out of food or shelter. Or somebody's gonna know that I, I suck. You know, <laughs> So I think letting go of that uh, emotional attachment is pretty, pretty cool. Do I have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have one younger brother. His name is Joel. He is actually a chef, like a, a legit chef, like went to culinary school. And ironically, he is a butcher. <laughs> and I am a like a vegan cook, I suppose, or vegan food blogger. So it's kind of a, a funny thing of like two brothers who went opposite directions um, as well. He's actually outside right now. Um, making an igloo <laughs> with his partner. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but I have a, a younger brother. I, I would say we're pretty close. I, we get along pretty well. Um, we don't you often fight like a lot of brothers do, but uh, growing up, certainly we did. So yeah, one brother and uh, two sisters-in-law and a brother-in-law on the other side of the family. So they're all wonderful, get along with them well. Who is my role model? Good question. I don't know, Ramdas? Jesus, Buddha, I don't know, the Dalai Lama, I, anybody who kind of does cool things, Einstein, I don't, I don't have one role model that I sort of idolize. I, I do think that learning from like these ancient mystics and not so ancient, some of the ones that just passed in our lifetime is kind of cool, kind of helpful. If I can learn from generations before me, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I don't think I have one singular role model. I really like, um, Christina Tosi, the uh, guy, the, the gal who uh, made Milk Bar, just because I think she has a really cool, inspiring story, and I like her vibe. Um, so she's kind of one of my heroes, I would say. Um, but there's, you know, there's not one person I sort of idolize. I just try to learn from a lot of people and become a better version of myself. What is my star sign and do I identify with it? Yeah, I am an Aries. I think I do a little bit identify with it. Uh, that's kind of a fire sign. That's like a feisty. I certainly in the last decade of my life, super you know, identified with it. It was very feisty and passionate and competitive. Um, I still think I am. I just think I've subdued it just a little bit and controlled it in a, in a better way. So yeah, I, I think I identify with Aries. I think too, you know, a lot of people like to roll their eyes at astrology and stuff, but if there's a big bang, right, and the whole universe ex exploded in a certain way that all these things would happen, it would kind of make sense that maybe you could map yourself by the stars. I'm not gonna die on a hill for this. I'm just saying like, I don't think it's that outlandish to think, oh, if you were born in this part and this is where everything is in the universe, maybe you're more likely to act like this. Um, or even as simple as you were born in this season and people tend to act a certain way in this season. Um, but yeah, I think I'm rambling now. So let's, uh, let's move on. Yeah, I do identify with being an Aries. <laughs> What TV show am I currently watching? Um, I'm not watching that much TV. Like I said earlier, I'm watching the NBA a lot of, and I started that show, The Great North, uh, which is kind of like, has a Bob Berger vibe to it. It's got Nick Offerman, who you might know as Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. And it, that's pretty funny so far. Um, I kind of just like watching light things for the most part. If I'm gonna watch something intense, I'll kind of just binge it, because if not, it can kind of ruin my emotional state and my experience. When was the last time I told someone I love them? Um, I don't know, an hour ago? I tell my partner, wife, JD, all the time I love her, uh, cause I do, she's amazing, and I want her to know she's loved by me. I tell my dogs I love them all the time. I even tell family and friends that I love them. Uh, I don't think it's a bad thing to admit you love people. I think it's wonderful, and if we did it more, we might, uh, we might have a little bit of a better world. Just my guess, I don't know. When was the last time I embarrassed myself? Um, probably in this video, seconds ago even. I don't know, if it hasn't happened yet, it's gonna happen any second now. Something's gonna fall, or I'm gonna like sneeze, or, or something, it, it, it's gonna happen, so don't worry. Um, but I embarrass myself all the time, but also I kind of don't embarrass myself in that. I, I'm pretty detached from how people view me, weirdly, even though I'm doing YouTube videos all the time. Like, I can't control what people think, you can't control what people think. I think if you feel good about what you're doing, if you feel like 
you're in integrity with what you're doing, there's no reason to be embarrassed. And I think we might be all a little better off if we spent more time focusing on bettering ourselves and less time maybe judging others or worried about others judging us. Am I a city person or a country person? Uh, I would say I'm, you know, I like them both. I grew up in the suburbs, so it's kind of a half and half. I think I probably like the city just a little bit more because I love having access to stuff. I like being able to get things when I need them or want them. I like being able to go to the store at any day, any time of the day, you know, night, midnight, anytime. It, it, there's a certain safety, I guess I feel in that, even though I know cities t t typically have higher crime, but I do like the country as well. So um, I, I'm not super married to either, but I like the city probably more than the country. And I probably like the suburbs the least, even though I like them all. And I'm living in a suburb right now. <laughs> Why do you make cooking videos? That's a good question. So if you have followed me for longer than a year, which would be amazing, first of all, thank you for following me, that means a lot to me. Uh, I didn't always do cooking videos. I used to do, um, I used to be very into the business marketing world. I did business consulting, I did marketing, I did things like that, and it's fine. I would say fine is the word for it, um, but it wasn't anything I was super passionate about. I was very fortunate that I got to work with really great clients and I love them and uh, genuinely and they were really awesome people to be around, but it just wasn't my path and I kind of kept thinking of like the Jim Carrey quote uh, in my brain over and over that I watched from some random YouTube video that was like, hey, uh, you could fail at something you hate, so why not try to do something you love? And that really resonated with me um, and kind of stuck in my brain because I have failed the things I hated, but I think even worse than failing at things you hate is succeeding at them <laughs> because then you get stuck doing this thing you hate and you feel like you're chained to it. So I feel pretty fortunate to that like, um, I'm in the situation I'm in now and I'm being you know pushed down this new path, which is really great. And uh, why cooking videos? So why cooking videos is, it's something I love, but I actually think um, making plant-based cooking more tasty or easy for people to partake in would actually make us all a little bit of a better person. Now, I don't think I'm a better person for eating plant-based, but I think the intentionality behind thinking about others, even, even something so lowly as an animal, right, is, will affect, I think, the group consciousness that exists here. We will be more compassionate to people. If we're being compassionate to animals, how much more compassionate to people and each other would we be? How much more empathetic? Um, so I th that's the main reason I do the cooking videos. I, I, I love cooking, right? I love culinary arts. I've always loved it. But I like specifically why the veganism, if we learned, if we've learned anything over the past couple like a year or so in this pandemic and with the BLM movement and with you know social justice and everything it's that we could probably all do with a little bit more compassion and to me eating a vegan diet feels like a compassionate thing to do I, I kind of face the question to myself which is like do you have to eat other beings that maybe don't want to die would prefer to be alive and for me the answer was, well, no, I don't. So it became as simple as that. And maybe I'll do a longer video about that if that's something that's interesting to you, if you guys like just hanging out, um, that's cool. But yeah, the, the main reason is because even though it's not as big or an impactful, I'm not like cleaning the oceans, I'm not like <laughs> helping us end climate change. I mean, it's a little way to help and it feels super impactful and it feels like, hey, if we all can just nudge a little bit as a group collective, how much further would our uh, society, would our planet be towards being compassionate to each other and being out of a fear state, a state where we're trying to dominate each other, trying to compete and have more than others and less than others. And you know, I, that's, that's just sort of my vibe on it. So. This is why I've decided to go down this path. Um, I don't think I'm better than anybody for doing it. Um, I just, I can feel excited about every single day and what I'm taking action on knowing, oh, at least this helps a little, little bit. And, you know, I'm not gonna necessarily change the world, but if we all do a little, little bit to be better, how much would the world change? All right, so I think that's a good place to end it. Um, so thank you 
for watching this video. If you watch the whole thing, holy poop. That's pretty amazing. So thank you so much for watching this. I really deeply appreciate you as a being for giving me your energy and attention. I hope it makes your life just a little bit better. And uh, if you're not subscribed, you know, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Join. It's the cool thing to do, I've heard. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, maybe smush like. Maybe let me know in the comments down below. Hey, AJ, I got some questions for you. I want to hear some more words out of your mouth. Um, thanks again. If you want to watch some more videos or some cooking videos, I bet there's some popping up here at the end. Um, so thank you so much. Do something you can feel proud of, and I will talk to you later.